Welcome to UpRev Training Part 2. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the basics of working with our UpRev flash tuning software. We're going to have a lot to learn, so let's get started. Okay, so let's jump into this video and talk about working with the basics of our UpRev flash tuning software. So when we want to begin uh, to start working with our UpRev cable, and we plug it into our vehicle, and we plug our USB cable into our laptop, ready to start to communicate with the ECU. There's going to be a whole bunch of things that we need to know. I'm going to be walking you through that so we understand the basics of using our software. I'm going to be showing you how to flash the file to the vehicle as well as putting our license or applying the license to our file so we can license it and then flash it to the vehicle. So there's gonna be a whole bunch of basic things we're gonna cover here. It's not gonna be super complicated, but we're gonna be walking you through that process so it's very clear and you understand when you start to use your UpRev what you could expect. So without further wait, let's jump into the video so we can check this out. Okay, so let's get started here. Let's take a look at working with our UpRev ROM editor software. This is extremely simple to use, but there's gonna be some very specific things that we need to be familiar with in order to use it properly and to begin our tuning process. So you're probably noticing that I'm sitting in the vehicle right now, and if you've gone through any of other training courses, um, we haven't traditionally started off in the vehicle. So this is a little bit different. Um, it's gonna be much more effective, much easier for me to demonstrate everything with an actual vehicle. So I have an Infinity G37 right now that I'm gonna be doing this demonstration with and doing our tuning with in this video. So um, it's gonna be just a little bit different format than you're probably used to using or used to seeing. That's okay, you're still gonna be able to follow along here and it's gonna be very effective. So let's jump in here and take a look at our software. So we're gonna be seeing right now, I have my software open and it says cable not detected. Now my vehicle at this point is powered on, but the engine is off. So this is going to be always the condition that you want to start off to do your tune with. You always want to have the vehicle powered on and the engine actually off. And I have my UpRev OBD2 cable plugged into my OBD2 port, but it's not plugged into the USB port on my laptop. So that's going to be the next step here. So I'm going to go plug in my USB cable, and we're going to be noticing at the top here the cable not detected status. This is going to be changing here. It's going to be searching for the ECU, that type that we're going to be using, and we're going to be noticing it's going to show us our arc license, our flash license, and our cable. It's going to read our ECU license status on the ECU. If it has a license applied already, we're going to be talking about that. And then our ECU part number, which is very important. Um, we're going to be needing that to begin our tuning process, as well as the VIN number, and then a bunch of other things here. We can see anything that's grayed out here. It's all going to be able to be clicked and, 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 uh, and edited and worked with.